So here's an easy way that you can limit the number of retries on a quiz in Articulate Storyline. I've got a really simple example here with just a true-false question and then a result slide right after it. And as you can see, I've got a retry quiz button on my result slide. And if you don't have one on your result slide but you want one, what you can do is click Edit Result Slide and then click Options and just make sure this last option is marked, Allow User to Retry Quiz. And that'll create the button for you. So the button is there, and what we want to do is create a really simple number variable that helps Storyline pay attention to how many times the user retries the quiz. Okay, So over here in the um, lower right of the trigger panel, I'm going to click on Manage Project Variables, this little X button. And this is going to list all the variables in my project. Now everything I'm looking at here is stuff that Storyline created automatically to keep track of results. And I didn't have anything to do with this, and that's fine. Um, I don't need to mess with any of that. But I'm going to create my own variable that's going to keep track of how many retries the learner has taken. So down here I'm going to click Create a New Variable. And let's just call this variable Attempts. The type of variable is a number variable and we're going to set it to an initial value of 0. And then we'll go ahead and click OK. And now we're done here. So we'll click OK to close the window. And now what we want to do is um, create a couple of triggers. We want to create a trigger that's going to um, add 1 to the count every time the learner clicks on this button. So over here in the trigger panel, I've got my um, you know retry quiz button selected. And what I'm going to do is click on the Create a New Trigger button. And here's what we want to do for the action. We want to adjust the variable called attempts. That's the one that we just created. And what we want to do is add a value of 1 every time the user clicks on the retry quiz button. So you basically just tell Storyline what you want to have happen and when it should happen. It's pretty easy to you know fill out these little fields once you kind of know the logic. So that's all we got to do there. We'll click OK. And then here's another important thing. We want to move that trigger to be the first one for that button, because otherwise it's never going to fire. Because right here, we're telling Storyline to jump to um, a different place. And we want this, this count change to happen before that. So I'm just going to click this arrow and move it up so that it's the first trigger that fires when the learner clicks on that button. So let's say we want to give the learner uh, maybe um, two retries after their initial um, try. So if they reach two and they get to the result slide, we're going to tell them they don't have any retries left. Okay, so what I've done down here in the states panel is I modified um, this disabled state for the button. I gave it a little bit more of a gray color and then I also added some text here. And you can do that by just clicking the edit states button and then go to the disabled state and then you can you know make whatever changes you want. I added this text box and I also changed the color so it would look really disabled. <laughs> and now what we're going to do is we're going to tell Storyline don't you know we wanted to change the state to disabled if the learner has already used up two retries. So we'll create a new trigger and this time we want to change the state of the retry quiz button to disabled when the timeline of this slide starts, not on button two, but when the timeline of the result slide starts. But here's the condition. We want to um, add a condition here. And the condition is if the variable called attempts is equal to a value of two. So if they've taken two retries already, we want to disable that uh, button. OK? So that's pretty much all we got to do. We'll preview this and make sure that it works. OK? So let's look at the question, we'll get it wrong, we'll get to our result slide, and now we're going to retry the quiz once. Okay, we'll get it wrong again. We'll retry the quiz again and get to our result slide. And now you can see that the state of the button has changed and we can no longer click on it because now it's in its disabled state. So that's a real easy way that you can um, limit the number of retries on a quiz in Articulate Storyline. And if the learner does happen to try to you know, go back to the question, you'll see that the, you know, this question is not going to let them uh, you know, choose a different answer or modify their answer um, because of the way the slide properties have been set up. So I hope that helps.